Today's Gospel, Wednesday, December 8, is from St. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled, and what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month of her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord Today's reflection is from Brother Selton Sindo of the Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. Fiat this Latin word means, let it be done unto me. This response of the Blessed Virgin to Angel Gabriel shows her utmost cooperation in God's mysterious plan for the salvation of mankind. Her fiat is indeed a reflection of her entire being. Her F stands for fortitude. It is not just mere courage. But more importantly, it is an empowerment from the Holy Spirit. It is the voice from within saying, Do not be afraid, I will be with you. I stands for initiative. Like the fiat of God, the Father when He said, Fiat lux, there will be light. And there was light. Kung ano ang kanyang sinabi, iyon ang mapangyayari. May bisa ang kanyang salita. To Mary's end, it also means actively uniting her will to God's holy will. A stands for acceptance of divine sufferings. Especially when the prophet Simeon foretold that a sword will pierce through her own soul. Buong giting niyang hinarap ang mga pagpapakasakit na kaakibat ng pagiging ina ng Misiyas. T stands for Thanksgiving, for God's faithfulness and blessings as boldly expressed in her Magnificat. Let us pray. Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.